いつでもお待ちしていますのよ。Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black and welcome to part 45 of my Let's Play of Amayui Castle Meister. We've got a few scenes to see today, so let's get right to it. Oops. First, Mikeu's sex scene. So, after dealing with the events of the village, Mikeu has come with to Avaro on a particular session to improve her magic abilities. The two of them are deciphering some magic text together. Apparently, Mikeu still isn't quite fluently literate. So, Mikeu's gonna ask if there's some way to improve her strength in her magic. You know, what's with the pouty face? Well, sorry about that, but Navarro still doesn't know much about attacking magic. He mostly doesn't know. Hmm. Well, she's still going to keep asking questions, though. So, in any case, the power of her magic is related to the reserves of magic. Yeah, basically. That's part of it. If you have some weak magic power and you let somebody who has a lot a lot of magic reserve use it, then it does gain some power thereby. So she presses her finger against the, her forehead and thinks really hard. So, a while back, they tested out Mikeu's magic talent with that rod, right? Yeah, and your talent was actually pretty good. Yeah, even if she didn't really compare to Fia. She's thinking that if she can increase the reserves of her magic, then the power will increase as well. But she doesn't know how. I've always thinking the basic technique goes like you train and then there your magic reserve will fluctuate thereby. So if you concentrate really strong on the magic within you and continue doing that and use your magic in that way. It has effects. Conscious, huh? For example, seeing how many times you can repeatedly use magic and things like that. Yeah, by pushing yourself to your limits and forcing out all of the magic reserves you have, you should have that effect. It might have an effect on your body, however. Since she's pretty weak, it might not be a good idea. And on the opposite hand direction, it might be a good way to jumpstart her growth. So if I was not certain on that one. Well, in any case, it, we shouldn't be expecting sudden results. The way to get there is one of long, sustained effort. Hmm. Again with the pouty face. So, I read this book in the book. 
隊長さんは聖魔術って知っていますか Yeah! Well, she read it in a book, apparently. But she knows about sex magic. Or rather, asks us if we know. That's quite a word to be putting out of. So, yeah, Avaro knows about it. So, the basics of it that she got from this book is that receiving the spirit of the other and drawing out their magic at the same time is possible. So, by saying drawing out, that means increasing your own magic reserves, right? Well, yeah, that's kind of how sex magic works. Well, she's thinking if she can gain magic power from other people, she'd like to try it once. It's easy to see where she's going, and she wants to use a borrow as a guinea pig. Avaro wants to, I don't know why he tries to get out of this, but anyway, he says he wouldn't be a good partner for this. Since he's Fia's apostle, he's connected to Fia, and to try to draw power out of him would probably be to try, try to draw power out of Fia, if only indirectly. Do you really think you can be a match for Fia? So, she'll give up, right? But... Quite the opposite. Alright, she'd like to give it a try. Uh, Avara's thinking, for my part, I'd rather you didn't learn it. He would get a bit jealous. Ah, uh, so, Mikio saying, so you're wanting Mikio to be yours and only yours, huh? Oh uh, yeah, the sex magic thing, you kind of have to have a lot of partners. <laughs> well, he doesn't need to worry about that. She just wants to try it. She doesn't have any plans on taking up her little own, own little harem. Well, that's how it turns out in past games when you hear about that stuff, but yeah, I guess you can just do it once and say it's good. Have you had this kind of experience before, Mikio? Yeah, no, she hasn't. She's never met a guy who drew her attention before. Well, in that case, if it's going to be your first time, shouldn't you dedicate it to enjoying yourself? You know, make an important matter of it. Well, even so, this is study and research. She doesn't feel she needs to delay that. Just for some kind of... I don't know what. Emotional connection in it? <laughs> I'm always thinking that's more like something a guy would say. We need to look into get some. So, no good? Ah, uh, no, Avaro can't say no to those puppy dog eyes. Kitty cat eyes. Ah, oh, well, whatever. He'll do it. 
しいですそれじゃあお願いしてもいいですか Alright, so we're going to do it. But I'm going to cut this scene. So, I'll see you later. No, a little bit more before it happens. Alright, of our promises to do it properly with her. Well, he doesn't know the sex magic thing, but. Definitely, he can do the sex part. Alright, so we're back. And they had sex. So, it'd be, I've always thinking it would be nice if this turned out to help her in her growth. Yeah, she says she'll use this experience as much as she can to improve her magic power. Hmm, okay then. But doing this ended up pretty feeling pretty good. Hmm. So as a bit extended study, could we do it again? Heh. <laughs> yep. She just wants more. <laughs> yeah, be gentle with me. <laughs> right, she'll do her best so that Navarro doesn't die. Hmm, <laughs> well. She is pretty sweet. Has a bit of talent in this area too. So that's what we get out of it. Oh, and some mega power! Let's see. Where is it? That skill we got is absorption. This is the skill you may see Ronda using occasionally. Oh, she's got a 40% chance where Mikayu will only have a 20% chance. So it's that skill that sometimes will allow you to gain some life when you deal damage to opponents. While that would be nice, Mikayu doesn't have much life to start with. So life recovery isn't as much valuable. Okay, so, he's working in his workshop, and someone comes up to him. Ah! Don't sneak up on us. As usual, she comes up without making any sound. You gotta come. Fia and Rishu. And it's bad. Bad? What is it? Please don't tell me it's another round of their stupid melodramatic bullshit. Yes, that was it. Another round of stupid melodramatic bullshit. Jeez, if you're gonna have a harm, you need to set down some girl ground rules. First one, keep your melodramatic bullshit to yourselves. I don't want to deal with it. Huh. But Rish is saying she is more suitable to Avaro, and Fia is saying she is more suitable to Avaro. They've got fine, well-crafted arguments about amounting to what I've already said. So, everybody's been hanging around these three. So these two came together and started arguing about who as a woman is more charming. So it didn't look like these two had calmed down by themselves, so Io decided to come get Avaro. 
All right, he gets what's going on. Yeah, that's called pattern recognition. So, the two of them decide to ask Avaro. Okay. Don't say scary, say annoying. That's what I find it. Uh, anyway. Avaro kind of weasels his way out, saying they both have their good points. And he doesn't want to put one of them above the other. It's a pretty good answer, but Mikio says it's running away. Kisner says that he should have gone for Fia. Io, for her part, says that the way that Avaro deals with women is weird. And yeah, I'd agree with her. And in any case, which one they like more? Or which one is more appealing as a woman? This is kind of stupid. Alright. If it's come to this, the two of them are going to have to have a match. Alright. So, the two of them are going to come to blows and make it clear which one's better. But how are they going to do it? Mikeu suggests a woman's house or a woman's wife duties. Like, um, well, about the house things. Io says, Cooking. So, Eel thinks they should have a cooking battle. Fia's in. And Rishu's in. So, so they're getting fired up. I'm gonna win. No, I am, etc. etc. Uh, by the way, Fia, have you ever done any cooking before? Since uh, Avaro's met you. He's never seen you do it? No. No, she has never once done it. You idiot. Does she have any hope of winning? Alright, Eels brought the ingredients and the tools. So, not only did Io bring a lot of food, but apparently she can sense the protection that Io affords to her ingredients. Ahem. Now that the preparations are complete, let's get started. Begin. So, let's look at how it's going. So, those two are going to do the cooking and the rest of them are going to do commentary. First off, let's talk to Kisnir who has a particular form of kick cooking skill. 
Well, as she can tell that Rishu has got good hand for it, and she is well, well accustomed to this kind of work. Hey, look at that. She knows fire magic, and she's using fire magic to fire food. How oh, nice. Alright, next, how about Eel's opinion? Why, if she can do it that well, does she never cook herself? Oh, that's true. Well, that's true. We haven't seen her do any cooking since we met her either. Now let's compare Rishu to Fia, who is having a little trouble. Yeah, it looks like she doesn't know what to do. She might not have even decided what to make yet. She's having a rough time even getting to the point of choosing her ingredients. And with that kind of approach, she's going to have a hard time. Huh. She is trying her best, though. I just got a flashback to when she was doing those prayer tags or whatever. And she just grab a prayer tag, yell a bunch while pouring her magic into it, and say, okay, good, next. Ha, <laughs> that'd be hilarious if that's how she cooked. Ha, <laughs> so anyway, eventually they finish. First, Rishu's. So, this is a regional dish from Rao Rosso. You probably don't eat much of it around here. Yeah, probably not at all. So, it describes some food. Going by description, yeah, it must be tasty. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty well done. Oh, Tastes nice. Kisni agrees, it's not bad, but there's a bit of a strong aftertaste to it. Eel says that there is a bit too much seasoning in it, but she gets passing marks. Hmm, how nice. She's a fair cook, by these guys' standards. Next, she is. So, the thing she brings out is somehow blackened. Okay, what kind of food is this? It doesn't have a name. It's something that has lots of love in it. Can you hear the hesitation in Mikeu's voice? <laughs> this is a taste that is difficult to explain. Yeah. It's like it's exploding on your tongue. It's stimulating and not bad. So, meets Kisner's approval at least. 
Okay, I'm back. <laughs> you always speechless. This is amazing, Avara says. So Avara tried it as well, and it is truly uh, stimulating. There's parts of it that are a bit burnt. And you can't say it was well done, but... Oh. Yeah, not like we wanted to listen to Avaro's thoughts. So, Vishu demands we get to the judging part. He invites us to... Alright, please. And Fia clasps her hands as if praying. Does she pray to herself? Mikio goes with Rishu. Kisuneru will go with Fia. You want my opinion? Kisuneru wins. Fia goes to Rishu. So, two to one. That's a win for Rishu. No, why? That's simple. In a cooking battle, it's whoever is tastier. In, well, yeah. <laughs> So, as a ruler, she can't leave any openings for people. And that's just... Cooking is just part of that. Although it isn't professional grade, she is still not too bad at it. Well, cooking is an art form. The one who is more practiced will win, and that's natural. Two to one. In other words, Rishu wins. Uh, she's all sad that she lost in a battle of womanly charms. Okay. Kiesner points out that Avaro, the guy they're fighting over, hasn't answered. Now that you mention it, this whole battle wasn't originally about who is the more wonderful woman. But about who is more suitable to Avaro? Ah, uh, actually I prefer you forgot about that. Alright, let's hear Avaro. And everybody's staring at him. You know what I'd do? Kick the both of them off my castle. <sighs> Alright, so Avaro sucks it up. And says Fia's cooking. Oh, and why is that? Well, it's true that she might have been a little clumsy in her cooking. It's not that she might have been clumsy. She was clumsy. <clears throat> As Well, yeah, she's a cook. She can say that with authority. Okay, so her cooking is clumsy. But there are other charms to it. So, 
I've all talked about what he would like, and he kind of gravitates towards tastes that he can handle, can um, enjoy over the long term. And eating these, it's clear that the more tasty one was Rishu's, but this more long term, or there's a flavor in what Fio was cooking that Avaro thinks will be more to his long term tastes. Eh, okay, fine. So after fashion, she has managed to introduce him to a portion of his palate he didn't know about, which is nice. No, oh, she's today received a wonderful deep love from him. <laughs> okay. Okay. And Rishu admits she is lost. Nobody will say her food is better. This is awful. <laughs> He'll eat it. Hell, make more. He'll? Now is the time for you to be quiet. She asks Rishu to teach her cooking so that she can make uh, better food for Avaro. Okay, she'll do it. And she, for her part, will learn from Fia these tastes that he's fond of. <laughs> All right, let's work hard together. <laughs> okay, so it's decided. So the two of them shake hands and it looks like they don't have any hard feelings on this one. <laughs> Well, that was a passionate fight. Okay, so, since we're getting along, it's a beautiful thing. And let's commemorate today by having a drink. Alright then. So, this is the news dealt with. I was actually planning on doing this before that one, but... Hmm, which one? I was testing down my buildings and found out there's another scene here. So again, Avaro's gonna try to relax in the bath by himself. And he put out the min bathing sign. Presumably it's big enough now. So it's good to take it some time and relax like you're relaxing in the bath. These hot springs and things. Just feel like all your troubles are melting away. But from the undressing area, he hears someone's voice. So she's been looking for him and found him. And she runs right in and sets herself in the back in the bath. So yeah, it's a good bath. This box explains about this rubber duck that she brought with her. 
Hmm. Okay, that was Skype. I'm not going to answer it. Okay, so, Fia, why did you come to the baths? There was a min bathing sign out front. Don't tell me you didn't see it. Yeah, she saw it. That's why she came in. Ah, oh, Avar was in here. All right. She came in on perfect. Came in on him on purpose. So the men bathing sign is not really keeping women out. It's tell basically telling them Avar was in here. It's not a welcome sign. So, why did you decide to come in knowing that Avaro was in here? Well, she wanted to come in here and relax in the bath with Avaro. <laughs> well, you could have said that from the beginning. But she wanted to surprise him. All right, good job, you accomplished your mission. So, is it just that you wanted to prank me? Well, that was part of it, but even when they went to Raoroso, the two of them weren't able to have a bath together. Yeah. Raoroso was famous for his baths, wasn't it? Yeah, that was quite a surprise, that incident. Avaro wakes up and he's in Raoroso. He was pretty out of sorts. Yeah, it really surprised everybody in the castle too. She woke up with all these feelings of happiness and all of a sudden Navarro wasn't there anymore. They don't know what the hell happened and they were all running around like chickens with their heads cut off. Ah, well, sorry for making you guys worry. Yeah, they were really worried about him. If something bad happened to him or something traumatic happened to him. And almost without thinking they tried to go rushing into Raul Rosa with the castle. Yeah. In the worst case, Raul Rosa could have been destroyed. Uh, sorry again. Afar let his guard down and let that whole incident occur. <laughs> now, anyway, it's all right. She knows that Afar wasn't at fault there. And today she just wanted to relax in the bath with him. She wasn't trying to fault him for his past actions. So, sorry about that. Gee, thanks. So, now uh, Avaro starts thinking about how cute she is. So, let's enjoy this bath together. So yeah, she'd like to just relax here. But, Avaro, your gaze is kind of... Okay, it's a male gaze, obviously. Hey, can't be helped. There's the two of us, we're lovers and we're in a bath together. And furthermore, she's kind of a goddess and his lover. So, hell, why not? Okay, so, right now, wanna have sex? 
Yep. So, pretty soon it's going to happen and I'm going to cut it as well. Yeah, Navarro wants to say that he hasn't done it with Mishu yet. He's been holding back from her advances. Yeah, she can tell when Navarro has had sex with other people. So she knows. And she also understands that he wants to have sex with her now. Wow. She really is a goddess. <laughs> oh, but is it really alright to do it here? We're alone right now, but what happens if somebody comes? Navarro says it's okay. There's the men bathing sign out front after all. So, as long as we don't make too much noise, we won't get found out. Yeah, Avar's uh, using male reasoning, as in he's talking with his dick right now. Alright, she gets it. She'll keep her voice down. So, Yep, this is time for me to cut. And we're back! You might have caught the last of her last line. Anyway. So we go back to actually relaxing in our relaxing path. But before too long, we're out of time and we need to go at that point, we hear more voices. So Mikiu says, is saying to Eel, to quit being like that, we're going into the bath. Are we really doing it? Ha 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 ha. She's still afraid of water. Uh oh, this is bad. Oh, hide yourself, Avaro. Like, behind Thea or something. Look, it's the goddess. Mikeo, you can have a bath with her. Quit trying to run away. She's taking you in with her. Hey, you two. At the entrance, there was this sign saying men bathing and all. Didn't you see it? Men bathing sign? Hmm. No, there wasn't one. And anyway, if Fia's in here, that means it's a women bathing time anyway. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Her mistake. Oh, sorry, Avaro. Now that they mention it, when she came into the baths, she took the sign. That's... You dork. <clears throat> anyway. That was dangerous, but we've got to figure out a way to get Avaro out of here. But in simply two text boxes, they managed to get out. And nobody found out about them having sex in public. Hmm. Anyway, that'll be it for scenes for today. So I'd like to thank you for watching 
and I will see you next time.